meetings after 7.30. We're going to open up to have the Conservation Commission meeting for March 21st, 2023. This is a rescheduled meeting from March 14th, 2023 that we had to cancel due to weather. First up is request for determination of applicability 87 Rocky Hill Road. This is a continuation from previously. Jason Galvin seeks to establish a half acre chicken and asparagus farm on his property, 87 Rocky Hill Road, site visit conducted 1160 by Shadow Davis and Jason Galvin. Is Jason present tonight? Seeing he's not present, we've continued this a couple times. I'm just going to do it one more time. So I'll entertain a motion to continue this to uh, April 11th. And we'll be, uh, continue. I'll second. Okay, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Can you, April 11th? Yeah. At 6 30. Right. Will he be getting a registered letter? Or no, I'll just have to contact and see if he's done with it. We'll just close him just okay. with, no, with no action. Next up is notice of intent 56 River Drive 170 291. This was basically closed at our last hearing on February 14th. We just continued it to tonight to the, the order of conditions. Marjorie Southworth seeks to construct a new residence on a lot. In 2015, file number 170 174 was approved with an order of conditions to do similar work, which was never conducted. The current proposed site work exists on a smaller footprint and is further from the river. There's riverfront floodplain and NEHSP present on the site. Um, closed on the 14th. Order conditions to be presented. So, other than the normal order condition jargon that we have in our order conditions, it's quite extensive. It's, it's standard boilerplate. Right. I'm not going to read it all. It's 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 on all our forms. The only thing I'm going to add would be that was from the previous one. Yeah. I'll do that over there. Yeah. So we had added underneath special conditions the attached pages. I'm basically going to take what was drafted the special conditions back in April 15th, 2015. For the previous notice of the tent, we're just changing a couple dates. Okay. I'm not going to read it all. Do you want me to read it? Okay. You both read it from before. Okay. You guys want to read it? No, we trust you. Okay. The only thing we're going to ask you, you did, you're, you guys live in the town of Hadley. You're going to be in a fishbowl. Whatever it says in that order conditions, please make sure you do it. Please. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm going to look for a motion to accept the order conditions as presented. So, I'll, I'll second. First by Gordon, second by Edwin. Any further discussion? No. All in favor, aye. Aye. And opposed, no. So we only have three, so we have we have a majority tonight, so it's going to pass. Right. We're going to get signatures right now, and we'll fill it up. By the way, we do have new. I want to. I'm sorry, Taylor. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to introduce you to the board and the community. We have a new representative helping us out. Kayla, what's your last name? I didn't. Hi, everybody. Yeah, hi. Sorry, what was that? I didn't get your last name. I you know, wrote it down, but I didn't read it earlier. Oh, sure. Yeah. I'm Kayla Lubriel. I'm going to be replacing Shyla as the um, conservation agent. So I'm excited to meet you all. And she just started today at noon time. Mm -hmm. She met with Shyla for about four hours at the town hall. Right. Went over everything in the mm -hmm. office, met with HR. Right. And is there anything else you wish to add, Kayla? Um, no, I'm, this is my first day, so I'm still learning. Um, okay. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, attending all these meetings. Thank you. We all appreciate you very much coming to work for us. Yeah. And uh, we'll get you up to speed quickly. You've got a good, good teacher helping with Charlotte because she was dumped into a, a much different situation without any training to speak of. So welcome aboard. Okay. So Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So Angela and Greer will get the 
Can you prepare this shortly? Okay. Electronically, we'll, we'll mail you the original. Okay. Should we mail it to you? Um, Six River Drive would be great. Okay. You can mail it to our attention. Okay, we'll mail it to your attention. So you're all set. Thank I'm you sure very much for all your help. Thank you for all your help on this. Thank you for being patient with us. Uh, yeah, no, thank you for being patient with us. <laughs> Transition to our uh, <laughs> situations. Have a good night, everyone. Right, thank, thank you. Later. Next on the agenda is Notice of Intent, Hopkins Academy Athletic Fields Phase 2 continued. Uh, Chris Desjardins, represented by the Richard Design Group, seeks to add two ball fields, two middle multi sport fields, as well as associated fencing, safety netting, scoreboards, extension of, extension, extension of existing paved walking path, parking lot reconfiguration, concrete path for future construction stand, athletic field sub drainage system, and stormwater management. <clears throat> BMP is all within a 100-year floodplain. DEP comments have been issued and will need to be addressed. So who's representing tonight? Is it going to be Doug? Yes, I'm here tonight. Doug. Uh, uh, go yes, ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so uh, thank you, uh, Chairman. So I uh, wanted to share that uh, we responded to uh, DEP's comments. Uh, we had emailed them to you, I believe, February 24th uh late february i can i can say with certainty um uh and um uh, also uh we uh part of the comments of the last meeting seemed to be that uh the uh, commission broadly speaking was on board with the project but wanted us to respond to dep's comments and so we had done that and included mark Simpson uh in that email thread and uh he had responded and said that uh the comments look fine to him and if the uh, board, uh, the you know the commission has any uh, further questions. You certainly could reach out to him. Uh, but uh, uh, what I'd like to do is, uh, if uh, uh, you'd like, is I'd be happy to read through our responses and and just tell you how we responded to that, and then see if there's any other questions. I would appreciate that because unfortunately I don't have that correspondence in my file tonight. Okay. So if you wish to go over that, we would appreciate it in a uh, timely fashion. We don't want to sure. take too long tonight. That sounds good. I, I'll share my screen if that's all right. If Mark Stinson's basically in agreement. He's you he pleased him. I think we're pretty well set as a board, but let's hear it. Go ahead. Okay, good. Uh, let's make sure I'm saving, showing the right screen here. Um, da, 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 I think maybe it's this one. Let's try it. Um, okay, you should be seeing. Uh, you should be seeing a picture, a render of the of the project. Is that correct? That's right. We got it. Okay, great. So I'm going to just switch to another uh, file, which is the response letter. Um, and so uh, DEP comment number one, does the town or the school department have the equipment necessary to maintain the storm scepter unit? Uh, we looked into this, reached out to the Hadley DPW, um, and they do have the equipment necessary to maintain a storm scepter unit for the school. Uh, question number two, comment number two was uh, subsurface tanks uh that are used uh in this project uh require a uic registration uh, underground infiltration um uh container registration and uh or sorry underground injection control uh and uh we intend to our response is that we intend to uh fill out this um registration it's a it's an epa uh registration for underground uh, infiltration tanks, and we intend to do that after a construction bid has been awarded and prior to the beginning of construction. It's it's not possible for us to actually complete the document without knowing who the who the builder is for the project. Uh, mm -hmm. So we we are in the process of filling it out, and it says who's the builder, and so uh, we have to wait till till the town has awarded uh, the project to a uh, to a bidder to a contractor. Uh, but then at that point and before construction, we'd be happy to uh, uh, file this um, uh, form. Uh, comment number three was uh, that the table, um, we had a table in our original application showing the cut and fill uh, volumes. Um, and uh, uh, Mark Stinson was asking for this to be uh, done in a, a, a slightly different method. Uh, the method that we had previously used um, which we've used again here um, 
uh, is uh, from the hydrology handbook. Uh, the hydrology handbook lists several uh, methods that one can use in order to show a, a cut fill analysis. Um, and I'm gonna turn uh, to the, oh, it's not in this document. Um, it's in the uh, handout that was sent. I'm sorry, that is not in my presentation exactly at this time. What we had submitted was a simplified table showing existing uh, uh, flood storage volume um, and uh, the post-development flood storage volume shows accumulation at, at each uh, feet. It is a method that is uh, outlined called the contour area method uh, in the hydrology handbook. And uh, ultimately what the but the table that is it is uh, that was submitted um, shows that there is a net uh, gain at each uh, foot interval. So that's uh, so that that is the the response to those questions. And Mark was fine with those responses. Uh, um, it sort of interrupts my flow, but I'd be happy to dig up that table if you'd like to see it at this time. We will take your word for it. Yeah. I mean, at some point, we'd like to have that for the file. Yes, yeah. and you, it is in the email, uh, and I could forward it. Uh, I think it's actually forwarded to uh, your uh, Sportsman Marina email, Gary, and uh, it's also forwarded to the uh, conservation agent's okay. email, Conservation I'll, at Hadley. I'll go back and look at my history. I'm, I'm sure it's there. I filed those away. I, I'll print it out when, I, when I'm at work and sure. put copies in the file. So thank you very much. Oh, of course. Does that also include the letter from the DEP with the comments? Uh, it uh, doesn't hit our response. In, yes, I mean, it includes the DEP's comments. It doesn't include Mark's email response, but that you were included in that response that he made. I have all that sent to me. I can just print that out easily and put it in the mm -hmm. folder rather than trying to go to the, the town of Hadley computer system and find out where it was previously filed. Great. Yeah, that'd be fine. Um okay. So anything else you wish to add at this point? I mean, we, you've addressed all the comments. We've got a file number. Unfortunately, I don't have the file number in front of me here. Do you have the file number? It's 170- Let's see. The file number for the project is... Uh, what is the file number for the project? 170-029. Uh, uh, Thank you. I know a lot of times in the past, Charlotte, we get those comment letters back from DEP with the file number when issued and she would have it electronically saved and we don't always you know always print out copies for us to bring to the meeting sure, of course which I need to have changed in the future it makes it really difficult for us but anyways seeing if you've answered all the questions and concerns of the DEP the net volume is a is a decrease and it's an increase in flood storage actually correct uh, I have no further problems with the project. Uh, any board members have any more further comments? No. Go does, ahead. does does this project take into consideration the fact that we're in a, um, you know, um, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the term with flooding in the in the. How many flood plan? That's what he addressed. Yeah. All the calculations. Okay. Okay. So I look for a motion to close the hearing. I so move. Edwin moves. Board? Second. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So next is we're going to go ahead and, and we close the hearing. We're going to issue order conditions, which is going to be basic standard order conditions and reference all the you know points in the notice of intent. I have no other special conditions to add at this point. No, I don't either. The maintenance plan and stuff like that, or receptors, whatever, that's covered in the boilerplate. Right, yeah. So I'll just forward around a paper for signatures. Right. Well, great. Well, thank you. Hey, Doug, thank you. Sorry about last week, uh, miscommunication. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, uh, storm uh, uh, interrupted a lot of activity for everybody, so it's understandable. I kind of assumed it because it says senior center closed, which means that's where we meet. Yeah. Ah, okay. Closed. That's good to note in the future. Yeah. My, uh, my fault. I'm sorry. That's perfectly all right. Okay. 
Is everybody coming, or are you guys the whole show? This is it. We have really? five board members, but two are missing in action tonight. Oh, no, it's shaking your board out here? Or is that rule? Yeah, right? yeah, with the floor. Oh, that's good. He's yeah. down with the keys. And smart one. Um, <laughs> Ray is Muskowski is coming back from Minnesota. His daughter plays in the, uh, I think it was the Elite Eight. Should be. Well, yeah. I think it was the Sweet 16, but. Anyway, she's in a basketball tournament in NCAA, and they're out in the cold. Unfortunately, uh, they lost. He did? He won't be back till late tonight. Mm -hmm. You ought to just stay here. <laughs> so, he's hoping to stay there for the next game, but they didn't. They didn't mm -hmm. The next game would have been off on Minnesota, I believe. All right, well, if the board doesn't have any questions, I'm going to take off from the call. You're all set, Doug. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you all very much. Have a great night. Thank you. So, there's a pen and sheet over there, guys. If you want to sign in, need a pen? Yeah, I got a pen. You got a pen, please? Yeah. So, we're going to move on to all the business, and obviously, the other business has arrived. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, I did, I made, this is a copy of uh, that Eddie brought over, I believe. And uh, do we want to keep one for the record? Sure. Do you want to keep yours, or do you want to keep that one? We're going to put them all. Okay. So, this has to do with maintenance of an existing irrigation. Yeah, the old pond or farm. Agricultural pond on <laughs> Edward Grilinski's property. Who is currently Technically, my sister's on part of it. I got pictures if you want to see the pond at all. Sure, this. Yeah, pass around, yeah. please. Uh, so some of the shit goes back about 48, some of the newer stuff. I think I see you see it from the road, right? Oh, yeah, you can't see I've driven it. That was the original pond. And he just dug like a horse, and he never dug the whole place. And it was not, it's not super deep, it's probably four or five feet. And that's my house in the back, and that's how the pond has been filling in slow. Now, this technically is the pond behind here. Right now, we got trees because it got so dry at times, where, you know, because we, we didn't drink out so the outside. This is a man made pond. Oh, yeah. And the purpose was for irrigation. irrigation. We got gravel base, so without water, we're done. Okay. And it's a natural pond because there's hard iron ore underneath there. And but if you break that pan, you drain and you're all done. So if I get it operated, I can't have a complete moron because one mistake, you're done with the equipment they use. They can blow right through that. Oh, so yeah. what feeds the pond? Just rain? Rainwater. Is there no, water? that's it. There's no springs because the state hit me hard. Well, it didn't hit me hard, but said, your problem will be you have brooks in or out. I said, no brooks, no such thing up there. Okay. And it's just it just it just collects and so who's going to be doing the actual work for you? We're looking at uh, Kenny Keeler. We I talked to uh, Wagner Farms. So when do they get back? You know, it's basically somebody local because basically we're like digging from the outside on both sides. So what's the what's the extent of the actual work to the pond? What's pardon? How much work are you going to actually be doing in the pond? Probably uh fifty by fifty yards on one side, another fifty by fifty on the other side, four feet deep. You probably got two feet of water and four feet of muck. And the muck we'll use back on the soil because it's light. Which is so are you, are you going to pump the water out to do the work? Oh, or? God, no. You just reach in it like a, a drop or something. In the old days, they had, um, who the hell was that, being in steam shovel with uh, clamps. It's done about drag 48, 50 out of drag yeah, But you're going to be able to control this so you don't go too deep to get the ruin in the bottom of it? Oh, yeah, because you'll bounce because that doesn't have down pressure. A drop would, could break it, but the drag lines, I don't think we'll do. I'm, I'm going to get a few options. We're looking at it. We're just starting now. So, so basically, we, you're dragging it. It's, it's soft. It's muck. So we have a, a letter that you received from Michael McHugh. Yeah, the state guy. Is that how you pronounce McHugh. his name? Probably. I don't. never met uh, him. I just talked to him. He was dressed to, to Wally. This says, hi, Wally. It's a pleasure talking to you about your project. I understand. If you're involved in active agriculture and are seeking to dredge a portion of a pond like area which you use as a water management system for providing water for irrigation. The Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act regulates activities that affect wetlands and similar resources in order to protect the public interest they provide. However, Massachusetts also recognizes the public interest that agriculture provides. So in writing the act, it included the exemptions for normal maintenance and improvement of land and agricultural use. And we've seen Pictures that tonight that Ed would propose showing that well, that was dug what, in the 40s. Yeah, it looked like 48, 49, I believe. 49. In that area. So it was a man made pond to begin with for irrigation purposes. Forgive me for getting too technical here, but the Wetlands Protection Act regulations at 310 CMR 10.04, parenthesis B, parenthesis C, 
clarifies that the normal maintenance of land and agriculture uses include the cleaning, clearing, grading, repairing, dredging, or restoring of existing man-made or natural water management systems, such as reservoirs and farm ponds, all in order to provide more effective use of water and all for the purpose of maintaining favorable conditions for ongoing growing or raising of agricultural commodities. So if you're proposing to dredge or restore a water management system such as a farm pond for the purposes of growing or raising agricultural commodities, you would need to appear, you know, you would appear to meet the criteria for consideration as an exempt activity. However, to move forward with your project, I would encourage you to coordinate with the Hadley Conservation Commission. The Wetlands Protection Act is initially administered at the municipal level, so you would want to be sure they agree with your interpretation. Also, there could be municipal bylaws that affect things. The Conservation Commission can best advise if there's any necessary documents to file. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. So, fellow board members, I think he's met all the criteria. Yeah, I do too. And uh, it's not like he's doing it way in back of the woods where he's going to be in full view of the. Oh, yeah, it's been there for so, longer than I am. I, I don't see where you need to file any other special. No, just don't be stupid. Permits with That's us. all we're asking. Okay. What are you going to do with the uh, trees that you pull out and stuff? Fire poison. Yeah, lady trees. With, well, where, you, where, you, where's the trench material going to go? In the fields to build up the soil. I got gravel base. It's fine. It's not going to be that much. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I look for a motion from the board to approve this. Oh, you go. I'll do it. Gordon moves it. I'll second it. Edwin seconds it. Any further discussion? No. Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Even the voice. But can't get easier than that. No, I guess the state's the you know, are I, you guys record this? Yes, yeah, I, I, I'll be careful my language. Yeah, I guess the state's a little harder to deal with. I hear the, the they can, yeah. The only <laughs> thing is, it would have been a great time. To, when was supposed to dry last year? Too bad we couldn't have done it last year and two years before that because you could have put a bulldozer, no dredger, you would have been done in and, probably five hours. Well, you know, we could very well have similar conditions to summer. Are you looking at you could, now? We, you know, I haven't seen it. We got to try to wait till you know a dry spell in the summer. Well, I hate to lose me because it looks like I have a lot of water, but I don't because I got at least four feet of muck and I only got about two feet of water. So if I don't dig it out, I lose my reservoir chance to fill it because that okay. was my chance to maintain it. Okay. So I will do some from both sides. And if I get a grant, I dig more. If I spend my own money, I spend less. It's always better to spend somebody else, especially state sponsored. But I don't know how that's going to go. So, okay. so I'm going to. Are you going to? Are, are you planning on doing it for this springtime? As soon as I can get somebody to write price, to fill it. yeah, in a week that'd be about right. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing: nobody wants to bid on it unless they know this is Pass. Okay to go. Do you know you're, what I mean? You're, you're and I understand that. Yes. Yeah. But now people can. Bid on the job? Yes, again. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And then you're you you got a contract with Eddie to uh, rent the land or something from him? If you want to, I give oh, well, no, it's a verbal contract. I'm here as his counsel tonight. But yeah. basically, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be on on public. You have these cable TV shortly. So if no they problem. have questions, they can the meeting will be they can go there without you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you guys. That was good enough. Really appreciate it. Five minutes, I love it. Yeah. Hey. I smile at the camera. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, Thanks, Kevin. See you later. Thank I'm you. not going to go into any other stuff, bills, updates, minutes we don't have. Oh, okay, yeah, have an easy I'll, day. I'll, I'll see you later. Hey, Tax, we get Kayla okay. right. further up to speed and we get minutes to go through. Right. Saying that, we take care of all the business. I'll look for a motion to adjourn. And we'll be adjourned. Edwin Morgan. Second. 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 Second.